Well, Archie, my boy, it's really lovely out here in the country, isn't it? It certainly is, Brav. And my, listen to those birds, aren't they pretty? Yes, I was listening, Archie. And you know, I was thinking of the story of Nobby Nightingale. I, I, Nobby Nightingale? Yes, he was the greatest singer of them all. And whenever there was a singing contest in the woods... <laughs> The winner of this contest is again, Nobby Nightingale. Imagine that, my dear. I won the singing contest. Well, you have got a lovely voice, I know. Uh, what was the prize, Brown? Enough food to last Nobby and his wife till the next contest. Oh, so they didn't have to worry about rations then? No, but after winning, say, about half a dozen contests, Nobby began to feel just a little bit superior to his other Nightingale friends. And as far as speaking to a common sparrow or a thrush, well, he felt it was just beneath his dignity. And I think it's safe to say that Nobby had got himself a swollen head. He, what did he do with himself all day then? Well, he would just sit out on a branch, and if he happened to notice any birds nearby, he would start showing off his wonderful voice. Until his wife said to him one day... Why don't you rest your voice, Nobby? You're singing far too much these days. Nonsense! I'm the greatest singer that ever was. Never has there been another voice like mine. Well, as you might suppose, one day it happened. It was. He opened his beak to sing a particular favorite song of his, but... <coughs> and that's all the voice that would come out. For the moment, he felt terrified. Then, he tried again. <coughs> but it was no use. He wore his voice out and couldn't sing a note to save his life. Oh, so after that, he had to collect his own food, eh? Yes, but you see, he'd never learned how to collect it. So, he never had to worry about it before. Nobby, is this all the food you could get today? I'm sorry, this is all there was left. The other birds are so much cleverer and quicker than I. I don't suppose you'll be going to watch the singing contest tonight. Who, me? Not likely. Uh, but he couldn't resist it. And that night, as the singing contest was at its height, Nobby was hiding away out on a branch nearby, watching and remembering his own great triumph. And big tears rolled down his feet. Then suddenly... Suddenly he saw two green lights coming towards where the contest was in full swing. He strained his eyes to see what it was. Then, in a wave of horror, he saw it was a big cat stealing towards him. He wondered what he could do to save everybody. <coughs> At the sound of his voice, everything went dead quiet and every head was turned towards him. And suddenly, one of the judges spotted the cat and gave the alarm just in time for all the birds to fly to safety. Uh, and, and what happened to Nobby? Well... Afterwards, when they realized that Nobby had saved all their lives, they all made a great fuss. He was taken back into the contest as the chief judge. And with all that food lying about for prizes, he was able to do very nicely. My, my, look at the time, Archie. Come on, it's time we were home. All right, Ralph, I'm coming. <laughs>